All right, we're going to look at scaling objects in 3D Max. The first thing we need to do is come up to Customize, come down to Unit Setup, and here we're going to have several options. Uh, we have Metric, U.S. Standard, and Custom. The Metric is obviously going to give us metric measurements, so we can click on that radio button, and then in the drop-down button, we can choose millimeters, centimeters, meters, kilometers. U.S. Standard will give us decimal inches, fractional inches, and then we have options for feet. And then in the custom, we can actually create our own units. So for this tutorial, we're gonna actually going to use metric, and uh, we'll leave it on millimeters, and click OK. So now when we draw objects in Max, we can see that our length and width segments, when we draw our boxes, are going to be placed in millimeters. And when we, when we move this up, you can see that just behind this length, we have the mm for millimeters. Also, when we go to scale our objects, we can see down here that we have our X, Y, and Z sizes, and that's going to allow us to actually type in specific numbers. So if we know exactly what we want, we can actually type it in down here rather than trying to get it perfect using this, just dragging on this axis here. All right, now that we got that out of the way, we're going to delete this, and I'm going to open up another model here. All right, I pulled in this picture of uh, the Lamborghini here. The first thing we want to do, right now it's in sections, we want to put it all together. So we're going to group it. So we're going to click on Group. And then we're going to right click on the model and we're going to click on scale. We're going to click on this little black box here beside scale. And we get this window that pops up. So what I've done is this is a Lamborghini Murcielago. And I have looked that up, the dimensions of that particular car on the internet. And I came up with this. So this is what we're going to use to scale our car. So we have dimensions of 182 to 185 inches in length, 85 inches in width, and 45 inches in height. So the first thing we need to do is check our car and see how big our model is. So we're going to go up here to our utilities panel. And we're going to click on Measure. And then we're going to go up back up to Customize, Unit Setups. And we want, we'll use decimal inches for this. And we're going to click on our car. And you can see over here the dimensions. The x On the x-axis is 2.186 inches. On the y-axis, which is our length here, is 4.6 inches, and our z, which is our height, is 1.138 inches. So we've got a little bit of scaling to do here. All right, in order to figure out how much we need to scale this, we're going to pull up our notepad again. The equation we're going to use, and I'm going to I'm going to use the length on this, the 4.606. So the formula we need is 4.606 divided by 100 equals, then the, we're going to use the 182, the smaller of the two numbers, 182 inches over x. Now, another way you can 
do this, once you've worked out that formula, you can also say 182 divided by 4.606, and then you'll have to move the decimal on that. So what you'll get if you do that one is you'll get 39.51. If you solve for this one, you'll get x equals 39.51.37. So what we're going to do with that number is we're going to use the offset world. Now before we do this, we're going to zoom out. I don't know exactly how far we need to zoom out on this, but we'll kind of guess. And then we'll click back on our car. And we're going to make sure we have the right scale on there. And in the offset world, we're going to type in 39. 5, 1, which will be close enough. We're not going to use the decimal. And that should have scaled our car up. And now down here in our dimensions, you should see something very close to the actual dimensions of the car. So we're a little off, um, but we'll be close enough for the model itself.